He is known for his operas, which he wrote the librettos for, and primarily engage with themes from the American South. His best-known opera, Susanna, is based on a story from the Bible and set in contemporary rural Tennessee, written in a southern dialect. His name is Carlisle Floyd. In the world of American opera, one name stands out, Carlisle Floyd. Known for his powerful compositions and captivating storytelling, Floyd has left an indelible mark on the genre. Born in 1926, Floyd's operas delve into the rich tapestry of the American South, exploring themes of post-Civil War struggles, the Great Depression, and rural life. Floyd's most famous work, Susanna, is a prime example of his mastery. This opera, based on a story from the Biblical Apocrypha, takes place in contemporary rural Tennessee and is written in a southern dialect. Premiered in 1955 at Florida State University, with Phyllis Curtin in the lead role, Susanna initially received mixed reviews when it was staged at the New York City Opera the following year. Some hailed it as a masterpiece, while others dismissed it as a mere folk opera. However, subsequent performances proved the naysayers wrong, and Susanna quickly gained recognition as one of the most performed American operas. In addition to his accomplishments as a composer, Floyd also made significant contributions to the world of opera education. In 1976, he became the M.D. Anderson Professor at the University of Houston, where he co-founded the Houston Opera Studio. This studio was dedicated to the training of talented young singers, ensuring that the tradition of American opera would continue to thrive. It is for these reasons that Floyd is often hailed as the father of American opera, a title that reflects his immense influence on the genre and his dedication to nurturing the next generation of opera performers. Carlisle Floyd was born in Latta, South Carolina, on June 11, 1926. Growing up in the southern United States, he was deeply influenced by the ideals of Southern hospitality and Protestantism, as well as a general disliking towards Northerners. His father, a Methodist minister, and his mother, who enjoyed music and poetry, fostered a love for the arts in young Carlisle. In fact, his mother gave him his first piano lessons, igniting his passion for music. Hashtag continue hashtag after graduating from North High School in North Carolina, Floyd's dreams of joining the war effort were dashed due to his asthma. Undeterred, he pursued his musical education at Converse College in Spartanburg, South Carolina, where he studied piano under the guidance of composer Ernst Bacon. In 1945, when Bacon moved to Syracuse University in New York, Floyd followed him and obtained his Bachelor of Music degree in 1946. Hashtag continue hashtag in 1947, Floyd joined the faculty at Florida State University in Tallahassee, where he taught piano for 30 years and eventually became a professor of composition. During this time, he also earned a master's degree from Syracuse University in 1949. It was at Florida State University that Floyd honed his compositional skills and began to explore his unique musical voice. Hashtag continue hashtag through his southern upbringing and his experiences in academia, Carlisle Floyd laid the foundation for his future as a renowned composer. His deep connection to Southern culture and his musical education would shape his compositions, which would go on to captivate audiences around the world. With his talent and determination, Floyd was poised to make an indelible mark on the world of classical music. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.